The pandemic has changed the ways that many companies are operating right now, and that includes one of the state's largest hunger relief nonprofits, which is feeding double the families than normal at this time. RTV6's Stephanie Wade explains how organizations are now working together to help Hoosiers rebound and get through this crisis. Cooking pasta. Yeah, I was slicing beef. Frying up meat. And then Monday I was doing dishes, so it was like different every day for us. Indiana National Guardsman Diana never imagined she'd be putting an apron on and cooking in a kitchen as part of her duties. Serving in a different way. Yes. But she, along with other guardsmen, were deployed by Governor Holcomb to second helpings and other community food providers to assist in any way needed as part of the state's coronavirus response. What do you think about doing this during this time in a pandemic? Um, I feel great. I mean, helping others. I mean, I would never thought I would be doing this, honestly, even in the Guard. We had a problem with food insecurity before this happened. Uh, the numbers we're seeing are unlike anything any of us have ever seen. The CEO of Second Helpings says their resources are stretched. The staff is split into two different shifts to turn out the increased need at food banks, shelters, and senior centers. Just the demand has been extraordinary. We have, we now deliver more than twice as many meals as we did before COVID-19. Normally there would be a lot more people in this kitchen working elbow to elbow. Now they're having to socially distance, clearly wearing face masks, and the National Guard are sanitizing this place six times a day. We have a check for Jen Vigran of Second Helpings. Recognizing the need, companies like Kroger $200,000, Jen, are making huge contributions to support them at this time. And we're really grateful to Kroger and so many others who have stepped up in this crisis to make sure that Second Helpings could continue to address the demand and never have to say no to somebody who needed our help. Ensuring no one goes hungry. Stephanie Wade, RTV6.